What do you think is the making of a Sahabi? What makes a Sahabi a Sahabi? So that a Sahabi is better than all people after him until the end of time. What's this chemistry? This secret which makes these people in our Sharia, in our Deen, the best of all human beings after prophets until the end of time. No matter how learned people might be, no matter how righteous might be after the generation of a Sahaba, it is the Sahaba who are the best. The Prophet says in a hadith that is mutawatir, and Imam Bukhari narrated at the end of his Sahih, and several other great scholars of hadith narrated. خير الناس قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم. The best of mankind is my generation, then the one which follows, then the one which follows. What is this chemistry? What is this secret? The answer is in one word. It lies within the title given to these people around the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. We say in English, companion. It is companionship. Sahabi, it is suhba. It is suhba. Suhba, being with, living with, going with, attending with, listening to, traveling to, see, this is the suhbah and the secret of the suhbah because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the best of mankind. The best whoever Allah created before and the best of whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates until the end of time. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam represents that pearl, the best on earth the best in existence, anyone who comes to see him is the best. He is the best, anyone who sees him is the best. The secret of the Sahaba is not merely being with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. The secret of the Sahaba is not only in seeing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. Some of the Sahaba, like Jarir ibn Abdullah al-Bajali, became a Muslim 40 days before the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam died. 40 days. He accompanied Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for 40 days. Jarir ibn Abdullah al-Bajali narrated several hadiths. We have some of them in the Sahihain. Had the most handsome body was well known he witnessed so many miracles of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam narrated so many sunnas and rulings one of the miracles is that he couldn't ride horses the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam struck on his chest he was the best horse rider for how long did he accompany Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? For no more than 40 days. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a statement in Al-Qur'an al-Kareem that Allah is happy with these people. Radiyallahu anhum wa radu anhum. Allah is pleased with these people and they are pleased with their Lord. What's the secret? Them seeing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? No. I tell you why. Because Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum was blind. He didn't see the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa alihi Wasallam. So the secret is not in seeing him. The secret is in him seeing you. This is the secret. 
The most important thing is His lights coming onto you with the ability to receive and absorb receptivity, which is given to anyone by Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. With this statement, you have the ability to receive the prophetic lights. This is why the Sahaba benefited from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The unbelievers of Mecca never benefited from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. They didn't see in him a prophet. They didn't see in him a messenger. What they saw in him was an orphan of Abdul Muttalib. That was their look. This is one important thing which distinguished the unbelievers of Mecca from the Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This is one important point you need to understand because the definition of a Sahabi is This is the definition of a Sahabi. Anyone who meets the Prophet while believing in him and he dies as a believer. That is the definition of a Sahabi. And we can see here the chemistry which made them the best of all human beings.